Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2023 Gravity 3570 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel by Heartland RV. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of this 5th Wheel, and then we'll close it all up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2023 Gravity 3570 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel here. We're going to start here in the kitchen living room area and kind of spin our way through the RV here. So looking over at the kitchen section first, we have a Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. You have the refrigerator on top, freezer part on bottom. You have the Greystone oven, flip up glass lid, glass front, also has a couple metal drawers that pull out below it for storage. You have the large high point convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave either one, and you have some storage up above that as well. Some more overhead cabinet storage above your sink area here. Some more storage down below the sink area. And the left side has a removable access panel so you can get to like the back of the water heater or the furnace area for some of the guts of the RV there. Then you do have the large single bowl undermount sink. High-rise faucet. Really pretty solid, uh, solid surface countertops here. Now the island also has quite a bit of drawer space and storage in it as well. And on the side of the island, you have two of these little flip-out uh, bar stool bench things here. And there's a little handle you pull, and then they just kind of flip over and push against there so it's a little more out of your way. But those are kind of cool. Looking up at the roof area here, you have some hang down pendant lighting there. You have ducted AC, a little roof vent up there with a fan in it also. Electric box with the breakers and fuses in it here. We have an inverter button. And then going on up in behind this little door here, we have some of our control center. So some slide out buttons here. There's another slide out button up here. Fuel gauge, hour meter for your generator, electric water heater, gas water heater buttons, water pump, um, you know, the vent fan up there above the kitchen to open and close it. Your monitor panels for your holding tanks. Um, you got some light switches and stuff all right here. So a little control area right here. And then when you have the solar package on here, you also have your solar charge controller here as well. It's all vinyl floor in this section. JBL speaker and sub. A couple electric outlets there as well. TV is on a swing arm, so you can kind of maneuver it around a little bit. And then you also have some storage up above. Now over here, we have a little loft area. There's a couple lights up there, another roof vent and fan. But one of the kids could definitely sleep up there fairly comfortably. And then you have the Thomas Paine theater seat here. And as little push out cup holders on each arm, these basically just kind of push back in, latch. There's also the power button to recline it back and USB charger port as well. But overall, pretty cool little setup. Really large windows overlooking the campsite area of your RV. Big, tall slide-outs as well up here. 
let's go check out the back section here and then we'll head back up to the bathroom bedroom. So stepping back into the garage area here, we have kind of that rubber diamond plate floor. Some heavy duty tie downs in that floor area as well. You have the sofa area here, it's Happy Jack style bed system. So basically you have a couple flip out beds here and up top. Little deck area back here. Some lights up there, pre-wire for that camera system. But this bottom bed again will make into a bed. Bottom dinette area will make into a bed. And then you also have your upper bunk both. Little cabinet space up here. And this also has some of your controls as well. So you have some light buttons and controls up here also. Traditional screen door and entry door in the back. Washer dryer prep in case you want to put a washer dryer back here. There's TV hookups up here so you could mount a TV up there if you want and also another roof vent. Half bath back here. Foot flush toilet, a little bit of storage there, and the uh, sensor control back here for this bathroom also. So you can see how full it's getting. Going on up into the front side here, we have our master bath up here. One of the AC controls for the AC and furnace here as well. Kind of start from the bottom up. So we have a foot flush toilet here. You have heat vent and AC vent in the bathroom. Glassed in shower, sit down seat, ABS tub surround, skylight up above, low vent fan in here as well. Now you do have a sliding pocket door that will separate the bathroom from the bedroom. But let's spin around here so you can see what it looks like from this way. So a little bit of storage underneath of there. Nice little setup. Back here into the bedroom, you can see we have another light switch here and your second AC control. Again, pocket door blocking off the bedroom area. There are some TV hookups on the wall over here in the ceiling. So you could again mount your small TV up here if you wanted. Little closet area there. So you have some drawers, counter space and hanging space all in that little slide out closet. Some overhead cabinet and shelf space. A couple lights down below there. Electric outlet on each side of the bed. Little cabinet space down below. And then there's also a wireless charging pad there on the counter. Really large window overlooking the campsite area of your RV. And then at the foot of the bed, there's actually a drawer that pops up and that will actually, I'm sorry, not pops up, but pulls out. So you have some more storage space underneath of there. Pretty nice setup here. So we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick, and then we're going to come back in and close it up. So we'll be right back on the outside. 
All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Gravity 3570 Toy Hauler fifth wheel here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a power awning, has a LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. Adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And then you also have a manual override in the front arm head. White fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal skirting. Now this fiberglass is attached to the nicer Asdale composite material. So it's much less likely to have any type of delamination problem. That's very important on any new RV nowadays. You have deep tent safety glass windows on the camper as well. You got a traditional porch light above each entry door. Behind this first baggage door here is one of your 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. You do have a large pass through storage compartment area right here. Back in here, you have some TV hookups, a bypass for your water heater, an electric outlet there. A couple lights in here, also the battery disconnect as well. You can also see some of that aluminum tube framing on your uh, upper deck floor decking there. Now looking just down below here, you can see this really nice BAL tire carrier there drops down and actually telescopes out. So it's easier to change your tire. Hopefully you never need to, but it is easier to do. Also, there's a propane hookup right there. So you could plug in a portable grill and then your hot and cold low point water drains are also right there. The main entry door step here is the more ride entry step. This basically comes down, touches the ground, rated for 500 pounds. Flips up inside the entry door when you're traveling. Adjustable feet, so you can kind of adjust it as needed for your terrain. Both entry doors do have windows in them. You've seen that when we were inside. Large folding entry handle right there. That basically is just kind of helping you get in and out, but it folds over when you are traveling. And also located right there is your model number. A couple other advertisements there talking about that enclosed underbelly, that weather guard system. Three year limited structural warranty. Believe it or not, some manufacturers don't have that good of a warranty. So actually you'll see a few different brands that are touting their three year warranty over some brands one year warranty on the structure part of it. And then you also have that Asdale advertisement sticker there just reminding you about the Asdale on board. Couple outdoor speakers right here. The unit is a dual axle unit that has drum brakes, 7,000 pound axles on this model. Uh, very important, make sure you do check your lug nuts, your tire pressure, all that type of stuff, and make sure you have a brake controller before you try to tow one of these big things. Back here you have a traditional hover style step, it does have the aluminum tread plate. Uh, this is rated for 300 pounds, large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. And then you also have a vent on the side, uh, that little silver vent up there, basically for fumage to come out when you are driving down the road. So if you've got gasoline uh, in some of your razors or your four wheelers, motorcycles, whatever, uh, that is there to kind of help vent out those fumes. You have a little porch railing on the back of this one. Now, aftermarket wise, you could get a set of steps to come off the back here if that's something that interests you. Um, you do have a little gate right there to allow you to kind of walk off the back if you wanted to do something like that. Up top there, you are pre-wired for a Furion observation camera. So basically you can buy aftermarket a camera that comes with a little screen that would plug into your truck and that camera would shoot a signal to that screen, allowing you to see what's going on behind you while you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. Very nice feature to have. There's also two lights up there, so you can kind of see if you're loading your toys at night. Ladder on the side here basically just kind of pushes up close against the body of the RV when you're traveling, but it folds outward when you're needing to use it. Rated for 250 pounds. 
Now, looking up top on the roof here on this one, you can see things like your dual air conditioners, plumbing stack vents, skylight, uh, solar panel, that type of stuff up here. Very important to make sure you get up here from time to time and make sure you seal that stuff up and maintain that. Very, very important. You don't want water getting in your RV. Uh, this one right here, you have a detachable 50 amp power cord. This stretches out probably close to 25 feet roughly. Another vent on this side. Then down below here, you have your uh, fuel station controls. So you got a little pump on off button here, your fuel station here, gas fill up right there. This unit had the half bath you seen when we were inside. So you actually have two dumps on this unit. You have a dump back here and the handles are right inside that little hole there to dump the back bathroom. Step back here a little bit so you can see down the whole side a little better. Now your next dump is just underneath of this area right here. So you can see your freshwater tank drain right here. Also your dump area right there. Now that dump handle is, there's actually two of them just inside that hole right there. You have your furnace exhaust out right here, six gallon gas and electric water heater. Baggage door here held up by the little magnetic holders. Slam lock baggage doors on the big doors there. Here you have your docking station area here. So you have black tank flush, uh, city water, fresh water inlets all right here, water pump switch, cable satellite inlets. Light out here, electric outlet out here, hot and cold utility shower, all that good stuff right here in one spot. Jack controls for your electric automatic leveling jack system right here. Real simple and easy to use. Behind this next door, you have another propane tank here. Some very important informational stickers here. We're gonna pop these up for you here real quick. The very first one popping up is your main production date sticker. This has the date the uh, RV rolled off the assembly line, has your VIN number, axle sizes, 7,000 pound axles on this model again, um, and your gross vehicle weight. Very, very important. Do not exceed that number. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Next sticker here popping up is the cargo carrying capacity sticker, which also on the uh, Heartland stuff has the unloaded vehicle weight on it as well. So basically this sticker is telling you what it weighed when it rolled off the assembly line and how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight. Next is your tire sticker, basically telling you tire size, but most importantly here, cold tire pressure. Very important to make sure you maintain that tire pressure. Don't let it drop too low. The tires cannot hold the weight of the RV properly and could blow out easier. So make sure you maintain that. On around to the front side here, you have a nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap. Has some LED lights built into the lower section right here. You have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box as well. Kind of acts as a little rubber shock absorber in between here on the flexing and stuff. Kind of helps with the chucking, the start and stop of taking off. Another light right up here, just to kind of help you at night. Now, this one was also ordered with the generator option. So you have the 5,500 watt Onan generator. Back up inside of here, you can also see we have a battery area right here. Some of the uh, electronic uh, features of the RV that kind of run some of the guts of the RV. 2000 watt pure sign inverter there and some of the auto level controls and stuff. There's a light over here as well. Another battery disconnect back here. You have the quick pull pins on the front jacks also for that auto level system. Overall, really nice 
fifth wheel toy hauler here. And we're gonna head inside again and close it up for you. I wanna show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're back up inside the brand new 2023 Gravity 3570 model here. We're gonna close this thing up for you. I want you to see what it looks like all closed up. So when you are ready to close things up, you do have to come back in here to your control panel. And again, you have two slide buttons here and another one up here. Okay. So when you're ready to close it up, make sure the floor is clean. Very, very important so you don't accidentally run something over and tear up your floor. Hit the button, come straight in and straight out. These are 12 volt motored slides. So as long as you got a good battery, you should be able to run things in and out properly. Very important to make sure any cabinet doors or drawers, refrigerator, all that type of stuff is fastened so that it don't accidentally come open in transit. But you can see it gets real close to the island right there. So you're not going to be able to open the freezer part down below, but you could still open one side of your refrigerator. The other side would hit your counter there. But you can still get to half of it. So if you're stopping at a grocery store or whatever and you're wanting to come in here and load things up, you could do that. So bringing in the other slide again, same way. Make sure everything's out of the way so you're not tearing something up. Hit the button and bring it right on in. So with both of these closed, I could still come in here, use my sink, get the part of my refrigerator. Two pretty important things to be able to do. You're not getting back to the garage from this way. However, you got the rear door to get into the garage directly. So let's see if we can stretch around and close up the closet slide up here for you. So when this comes in, same scenario, just come straight in. Make sure your cabinet doors and uh, closet and stuff are all closed up but it's gonna come right in and butt up against the side of the bed. So with this closed up, I still could come up here, sleep if I'm stopping at a rest area or something, change clothes for the most part. You're not getting to your closet and stuff here, but you do have that big drawer underneath the bed where you could stash some of your stuff that you might need to get to while it's closed up. Still got full access to my bathroom. And then again, if you need to get to your garage, you have your half bath back there. The kids could be sleeping back there. And they can go in and out through the back door. Just hit the button to take the rooms right on back out. Now, if you need to stop and let off for some reason to go check and make sure you're not about to run into something, you can do so. And then just hit the button to go the rest of the way back out. Pretty quick and easy. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to check out the folks at CouchesRVNation.com.